What is going on fellas and welcome back to team 30 something of our 126 rebuild here on NCAA 14. Remember that the teams are voted by the Twitch chat. Today we are rocking with San Jose State out of the Mountain West. These guys are tied to be the worst team in the Mountain West coming with a 70 overall and are a one star school. I personally really really like San Jose State. Spartans, color, outfit, love them, everything. So this should be fun. Keep in mind, I'm doing this one offline and not on Twitch. I don't know what the deal is with Twitch, but today I have not been able to stream. Even though my internet is fine, I'm still having these bullcrap errors where I'm constantly dropping frames. So I just have to do this one offline. Hopefully that's not a problem for you guys. All right, looking at our roster. I don't think this team will be very good in all honesty. They're one of the worst teams in the game with these updated rosters. Keep in mind that these are the brand brand new rosters as well by Vikesfan059 from Operation Sports. Pretty good, 70 overall middle linebacker. We got a 72 defensive end. Got a free safety here. We only have six people on the board. There we go, Ryan West goes up to a 73. Elliot DeLuca, one of the three players that was good, turns out to be a complete bust. Timmy Lawson though, that's the first time I've ever seen that name as well, so that's kind of cool. But these two right down the bottom here are just people who ran really good 40 times. They have no interest in coming but I figured see if we can pull them so in season one we come in C minus C and C minus so we're not as bad as I thought honestly being a 70 overall thought we're a lot worse than that all right let's chuck 700 on both of these guys down here Charles Green actually has a 220 bonus which isn't a bad start at all let's add Michael Goddard here I'll take this free safety I mean we might as well just take everybody here or the best people we'll take this quarterback for now and Manny Waters well, we lost to FCS in our first ever game. That's right, the D team strikes again. Bloody two of them in back-to-back -back games, my goodness. Starting off the rebuild in the worst absolute fashion, 0-2 and two against non-D1 teams. Alrighty, so if there's any kind of redemption for this team, it can at least be with the low lock cheese. Four-star athlete, four-star running back, another four-star. We got a five-star running back down here. Eric Olsen. Don't know, he's a power back at 200 pounds, but, you know, I'm not complaining. We'll take this guy who runs a 4-3-6. Another running back. He's a four-star though, Chad Sears. I'm gonna put him on the list. This power back runs a 440 at 220 pounds. Quarterback here though, Frank Hall. That's gonna upgrade that spot. Ooh, look at this tackle right here. 68 over Robert Scott, 645. Four-star strong safety and he looks good too. Oh, this Stefan Smith is a stud. Morgan Evans going up seven overall. Another receiver, we'll put him on. JJ Kidd, another bust. That was the worst bust yet. I just busted three times in a row. This this guy should be a gem. 75, I'll take it. Tony McCoy. 78, I'll take it. And Michael Fordinal. Strong safety with 80 block shedding. I'll take that. Even though this guy is only a 69 overall, I think I will go after him. Or would you look at that? Michael Fordinal, 81 overall, strong safety, already joining the squad. We got a whole bunch of other people ready to visit. Let's go get an update on the recruiting. Hopefully it's nothing but good vibes. Ryan West still got the lead here. Lead, lead. Let's go. Looks like we got the lead on everybody we wanted even the guys we only dropped 400 on san diego state is ranked third somebody please tell me another three star guard that squats a 640 i'll take that got a couple of outside linebackers there looking good these are all the low lock guys everybody over 70 we're on a good run there they are rank three san diego state we got them on the schedule let's see if we can beat them all right this is it the big money match right here san jose san diego state <laughs> so we're gonna lose is by 11 man wow whoa okay 281 overall wide receivers a 77 wide receiver an end for both sides a right tackle cornerback man we're chilling right now we finished on a three and nine record we don't even have a bowl game so let's go straight to the offseason somehow our security is safe we only have a target swim per year of five and we got three. So uh, if we keep dropping games like that, we won't be around here long. Okay, we got two people transferring to UNLV, both of them, mate. They must be in cahoots with each other. And then we got a couple of people graduating. Majority of these people graduating are 60 something overall. So we're not really losing a whole lot. It's gonna be scary if we start losing recruited player those. That's gonna suck. Since we desperately need this guy to get that running back situation sorted, let's drop 8k into him. So let's go 3,000 into Nate Barnes here, and then we'll drop 500 into Eric Long, who we already have the lead on. Fingers crossed we get these guys. 
All right, we got Tony McCoy. That's really good. We got the left guard. We did not get the quarterback, though. Signed a top 25 class. Top class in conference. That's what we do around here. We signed six four stars. Debatable. Some of them could have very easily been five stars. And ten three stars giving us the 18th class. Five of the people we just signed are like in the top ten players on the team already. Incredible. All right, so let's see. We, we obviously didn't go up overall. Let's just straight up go after the positions that we need. We got two three stars. This guy's a 70. Not even one five star quarterback at all in this class as well keep that in mind oh this morris guy goes up to a 79 all of these guys are where we would expect though all right so this guy is definitely going to be getting 700 points no questions about it i'm going to pick up some of the lower level guys i'm going to try dan dorsey going to pick up a couple of these corners we're going to simulate to week three let's just see if we can get a big lead by that time all right so jumping into year two we already see a massive improvement c plus b minus and c plus going from 70 overall to 77 overall with just the freshmen we have Checking out what we get. Got a strong safety. Take a cornerback and a quarterback. Defensive end, you already know I need that. This class actually might fill all of the holes. I imagine by season four, the team will be done. We just need a sim. Four-star defensive tackle, easy work. This guy scored 690, bro. He's a 79 overall Juco. Dan Dorsey, the quarterback. Got to see if we can find as many gems as humanly possible. 77 cornerback, I like it. Defensive end, 77, I'll take it. 76, I'll take it, Eric Taylor. All right, this is some pretty solid people here. Oh, the offensive lineman. This is where we see those big jumps. Hello? How do you score so much but go down? Evan Marshall goes up to a 79. Keenan Jackson, 81. He's already getting 700. Brian Stewart, 79. I'm taking him. Bloody hell, there are so many good people here that I want. We are already one win away from tying last year's record. Two games in and we're one win away. That's how you know you hit rock bottom right there. Finally have the lead on Morris. He's also ready for a visit. Tanner Maddox going to get 700. Let's take Lee Jones, defensive end. Then we'll put bloody 290 into this middle linebacker right here. All right, we're leveling up again, so we must have won some games. We got Dan Dorsey, the 78 overall quarterback. That's a big boy pickup. Everybody else ready to visit. Of course, we're three and four, though. All right, overwhelming lead on Tanner Maddox. That's great. All right, we got a lot of Jukos here, but they're all really, really good. Oh, my goodness. The worst player we signed here was 76 or oh, 59 over 56 overall but like despite those two right there look we got three right ends a right tackle another quarterback linebackers dt the three positions we desperately needed we pretty much just got all right there are we gonna get fired we're safe for now with two three and nine seasons i don't know about that players leaving i moved all the freshmen to start so nobody should be going there we go a lot of 70s there but plenty more where that came from we have oh my goodness three centers want to come join the team the only problem is two of them are 40 overall so i'll take josh sharp out of utah but these two if you're 40 overall you're not joining so we have the lead on greg alford we also have evan marshall here what else we got a couple of dns we have a 4,000 lead on this guy. I'm going to drop like 4,000 into Terrence McDonald just to kind of guarantee him. Hopefully, Bamba doesn't pursue him too much. And the other 11,000 is going to go into the cornerback at the top because we were behind by 2,000 on this guy. Somehow, we have a chance all of a sudden. And just like that, we got both of them, mate. Imagine that. Six four stars, nine three stars, and three one stars. I don't remember signing one stars, a computer must have, but oh, those 50s, that's right. Still, even though we're zero and eight, or probably zero and 16 in conference play, we're still on the way up. Next year, six and six, easy. Holding team tryouts. <laughs> so that's where we're getting the 40s from. All right, so let's do this. I'm going to take Ken Paris right on the top. 82 overall. I doubt he is, but I'm, I don't know. I'm just feeling lucky today. We're still going to be a one star. So take this tackle. His name's John Jones. Take a fullback because we all know we need one of those in our life. We'll take Robert Kirby here. That should hopefully help, even though it won't help at all. Uh, let's go ahead and take the top cornerbacks on the list. The top five. Robert Kirby's trash. Now, these are the five cornerbacks. Yeah, they all look excellent. Like, no complaints here. Every single one of these guys is fantastic and i'd take as many of them as i can all right the start of season three we're b minus b and b minus so we are slowly but surely moving up the rankings we're 83 86 and 82 now so we're a quality mountain west team going up what nine overall in two years that's not bad at all first things first ken paris 100 700 points 
Every single one of these cornerbacks is copping the 700. I've got no words, man. How are we in 80 something overall? We still losing to these scrubs. I'm changing to a spread offense. We have to lead on Ken Paris? Five star athlete, 30% lock. Four star athlete. Okay, that's great. We've got another five star athlete. This is the year, boys. There we go. Irvin Banks, four star cornerback. I'll take that. And we got a free safety. See how many of these guys are going to be gems. This guy's a quarterback. This guy, however, he's not a cornerback either. He's another receiver. Ross Jude is a straight go. Look at this guy. 78, that's not bad. And then the free safety, 75. All right, for the love of God, let's go change this offensive playbook before I lose my mind and get fired. Switching it up to spread offense. Let's go. All right, with this brand new spread offense, taking on 0-2 UNLV, a team that we're better than, we lost 10-41. to Clearly something's wrong with this team, man. 0-3, I don't know what's going on. Isn't that hilarious? Turns out that Ken Paris was another quarterback. We have no interest for another quarterback. So currently we are 2-6, and six, even with the spread. I think San Jose might just be one of those cursed teams. So everything looks good, though. We have the lead on everybody. Finally! <laughs> Oh, that is a redemption story and a half. On the plus side, we signed Ross Jude, who's a running back. We got another quarterback. My main goal is to get cornerback. So even though it says a lot of these athletes are like different positions, I'm still going with them as cornerbacks. Open the door. We can only do this once. We're right back in the mix. Add 700 on him. So at least we're back in the mix. We did manage to pick that guy up. No ball game again. We did get our targets win per year though, so we're not going to get fired. That's on the plus side. Hold on. Contract, we set out at the start. We feel like you've done well enough. Really? 3 9, 3 9, 5 and 7, and we've done enough. Okay, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. All right, players leaving. I forgot to change around the depth chart. Don't worry, we're cool, man. We're cool. Everybody else is graduating. I don't even care about that. He's going to leave. He's a 70 overall freshman. Wide receiver, I don't I don't care. Alright, so the last thing we need to do is snag these cornerbacks up. There's two of them who have been fighting and bitching, and they're both right here. We got the lead on Blake Joyce. He's gonna get 8k, and Fred Evans is gonna get 7k. And we get both of them. GG. Signed another top 25 class. That's our third one straight. This year, though, we cracked top 15. We finally got up to a two-star prestige. That's nice. We got three five-stars, four four-stars, six three-stars, etc., etc. All right, looking at training results. Is there anybody here who's going to be here? Stephen Smith will be here the final year. He's going to be like a 99, which is crazy. Man, we've got a lot of juniors. This is what I'm talking about. We're actually coming together pretty good for only just entering season four well we're in season four everything is fine mate the team is done let's go ahead and put everything on let the cpu take over all right so jumping into season four we come in a oh that's them i thought we were a minus for a second there we're b b plus and b currently we're looking pretty good next year we should probably be 95 plus is my guess okay i just turned my light off because i'm going to take a break while this sim since i'm not streaming live but as nearly a 90 overall team, how did we lose to FCS? Please explain to me how we keep losing to these guys. Unbelievable. The computer, hold on. We'll see. They signed two punters. Can't expect much with the two-star prestige. We finished seven and five. What a relief that is. We finished six and two in conference play as well. Is that going to be enough though? Probably not. It is. I can't believe it. We actually made the conference championship. From not even making a bowl game, Colorado State is first in the nation. Whoa, okay. Wow, I can't believe it. So is this technically like a national championship right here? They're not much better than us, in all honesty. They are ranked number one in the nation. Let's see what happens here. Okay, we lost 21 to 44. I kind of expected something like that would happen. We got SMU. All right, that's pretty cool. So we finished on a 7 and 6 record. Can we pick up this win, please? Finish 8 and 6. That would just be amazing. Hats off to San Jose. Come on. Let's not disappoint the people watching on YouTube. They came for a show. And we're gonna lose by 3. Alrighty then, on to season 5 I guess. I'm just surprised that we made it without getting fired, for real, that's crazy. Targets win per year was only 6, we make it to 7, so that should mean that we are 3 star prestige now. Not that we'll be doing any recruiting in season 5, but this team has come a long way. And I still can't wait to see what the jerseys look like. Alright, checking out the players leaving, just a lot of people graduating. No 90s are graduating though, which is fantastic. 
All right, checking out the training results going into the final season, season five. Michael Fordinal, the senior, 94 overall. He's going to be the best player on the team. Thought we would have had a 99. We don't. We have four 90 overalls. Considering we started as a 70 overall one-star team, I think we've done pretty dang well. We have a lot of very high 80s. Obviously, a lot of these guys are seniors, but who cares, man? All right, so in season five, we are A, A plus, and A minus. The defense not living up to it, but just like I said, 95 plus overall. So there you go, 97 offense, 93 defense. Let's go ahead, simulate this schedule. We got a couple of ranked teams, Utah State, San Diego State's on there as well. Hawaii, we got last year's national championship contender, Colorado State on there. Let's do this. All right, this right here is a positive sign. We just knocked off Utah State. Hawaii, we know they're a good team. And we lose by three. Are you joking me? All right, so survey says going into the Mountain West Championship game. We finish nine and three, which is not good enough for a spot. UNLV is going to take that spot since we finished on a five and three conference record, even though we're the best team in the conference by a whole lot. So in the Armed Forces Bowl, we're taking on Tulsa. These guys are B all over and Kirk's rocking with them. Ew, Kirk. Looking at the stats behind our 9-3 season, Rashawn Thomas had 26 touchdowns, 8 picks, nearly 2,000 yards. Not very good. Rushing in, Tony McCoy, 1,500 yards and 12 touchdowns. Rashawn had 11 touchdowns and nearly 1,000 yards. Wow, okay. And on the defensive end, pretty dang solid. A lot of TFLs, a lot of sacks. We were definitely bringing the pressure. Goddard, our 87 overall cornerback, had four picks. Not really a bad season at all. I have to say these guys, for a 95 overall team, pretty much right on par, in my opinion. All right, let's jump into this game. All right, McCoy with a big first run. Let's see if this San Jose State team is ready for prime time. We get some points on the board. Hey, right, we're up 10-0. I mean, we kind of predicted this was going to happen, right? It's 13 to 10. Are you serious? Okay. Let's see what happens in the third quarter. Tulsa's going to take the lead. We score immediately right back. And Tulsa has the lead in the fourth. All right, let's skip a little more of this game. We won't jump in unless it's absolutely necessary. We'll get a look at the squad. Fourth and one. Go, 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 go! We're faster! Ah, that's a nice return. Dot! Let's go, baby. Oh! Fahoko, the only original player on the team. Oh, truck his ass! Cut it back in and McCoy! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That's the rushing touchdown school record right there. This is pretty much the last play of the game right here. We never once got ranked, ever, because we couldn't even win our division or conference. Let's go. That was so bad. But with that being said, San Jose State, they definitely showed me today. I mean, their jersey's kind of trash, not going to lie. But yeah, I really like the Spartans and I really like Tulsa now. So, I mean, let me know down in the comment section. I'd love to do a dynasty with either one of these guys. Let me know about that. All right, checking out the stats on the game. The Tony McCoy, our running back, had four touchdowns, 180 yards, and an 8.5 average. Paris Berry here did a really good job. 29 pancakes to zero sacks. On the defensive end, Blake Joyce, the sophomore cornerback, had 10 total tackles. We had a lot of TFLs in this game. Three sacks. We ain't playing around. Overall, we did really good. But unfortunately, we did not make an Addy. We weren't even ranked. We saw Colorado State make an Addy. That was the first rebuild with the brand new new rosters. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you made it this far, you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace. Now I don't know where you've been You're slurring all your words Now